Question number 13. There are 8 cars waiting in a queue for a ferry. Every car contains either 2 or 3 people. There are 19 people in total waiting for the ferry. How many cars contain exactly 2 people? So there are 19 people in total and 8 cars. So either 2 people or 3 people can sit in one car. So let's suppose that 3 people are sitting in the first car and in the rest of the 7 cars out of 8, 2 people are sitting. So 7 twos are 14. So if we add the number of people sitting in the first car and rest of the 7 cars, it's 17. Which is not correct because we know that there are 19 people in total. So let's say that uh, Three people are sitting in the first two cars. The total is six. And in rest of the six cars out of eight, two people are sitting. So six twos are twelve. Now let's add six and twelve. The total is equal to eighteen, which is also not right because there should be nineteen people in total. So if we say that three people are sitting in the three cars, it means nine people are sitting in the three cars. Then five uh, in the rest of the five cars, two people are sitting. So five twos are ten. Now if we add ten and nine, the total is equal to nineteen. So we can say that uh, in five cars, two people are sitting. So option D is the correct option here. Question number fourteen: The metro line has six stations A, B, C, D, E, and F. The train stops at every station. When it reaches one of the two end stations, it changes its direction. The train driver started driving at station B and her first stop was station C. Which station will be her 96th stop? So, so the train is at station B and the first stop is station C. So 1, 2, 3, 4. From here it will move back to the west side. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. From uh, station A, it will move back to the east. So it's 10. So we can say the 10th stop of the train is station B. So let's continue it. 11, 12, 13, 14. And it will move back. It will be 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And the 20th stop of the train is again station B. So we can say that the 10th, 20th, 30th, 40th, 50th, 60th, 70th, 80th and 90th stop of the train is at station B. So we will continue the pattern from here. It's 91, 92, 93, 94. From here it will move back to west. So 95 uh, and then 96. So the 96th stop of the train is at station D. So option D is the correct option here. Question number 15, Hattis wants to paint the circles in the picture. She wants to paint any two circles connected with the line different colors. What is the smallest number of colors she needs? So if she colors the middle circle in red color, then she has to take another color to uh, paint the upper circle. Let's suppose it's green. She can again use red over here. But now she cannot re use red in the lower circle, so she can use blue here. In this circle, she cannot take uh, red or green because these two are connected with the third one. So now she has to change the color. Let's suppose she has taken blue color here. Now in the upper left circle, she can use red or green, any of them. So let's suppose it's red. And in the last circle, she can use green again. So here, she will use at least three different colors to paint the circles in the picture. Question number 16. Sam walks through the two-story maze from the entrance to the exit, passing three wall stickers. In what order will she see them? So... For so she will enter the room from here and go straight. In the next room, she will move upstairs and open this door. Here she will find her first uh, sticker of frog. In option A and E, the first sticker is of frog. So one of uh, these options is our answer. From here, she will go downstairs. 
and uh, take a left she will enter in this room open the door and come here from here she will take a left again and she will find a sticker of hippopotamus so if we look at our option uh, a it is the correct option because first she found the sticker of a uh, frog then the second sticker was of hippo and at last she will find the sticker of shark so option a is the correct option here question number 17 six beavers and two kangaroos are standing in a line amongst any three consecutively numbered animals exactly one is a kangaroo which numbered animals is a kangaroo so here if we look at all our options there is no option of six seven and eight so it means that we are going to consider our first five numbers. So it is given in the question that amongst any three consecutively numbered animals, one is kangaroo. So let's say that first two are beavers and the first kangaroo is at third position. And after that, next two can be beavers and the second uh, kangaroo can be at sixth position. So here option C is the correct option. The first kangaroo is at third position. Question number 18, Rebecca folds a square piece of paper twice, then she cuts off one corner. Next, she unfolds the paper. What does the paper look like once unfolded? So we can see that uh, she has cut the paper from the corner. But when we will unfold the paper, this uh, triangle will come in the center of the uh, unfolded paper. So option C, D and E are not possible because in these three options the paper is cut from the sides. So here uh, option A is also not correct because when we cut it uh, uh, corner wise it will make a triangle. So option B is the correct representation. Question number 19, Hermione, Harry, Ron always walk into the common room one at a time. Hermione is never first, Harry is never second, and Ron is never third. In how many different orders can they walk in? So let's arrange the data first. Hermione is uh, always at second position or third. Harry can be at first or third position. And Ron is always at first or second position. So let's suppose that um, in the first sequence, Harry is first. Ron is second and Hermione is third. There can be another sequence in which Ron is first, uh, Hermione is second and Harry is third. So there are two possible different orders. So option B is the correct option here. Question number 20, there are five clocks on the wall. It is known that one clock is an hour fast, one clock is an hour slow, one clock shows the correct time and two clocks have stopped. Which clock shows the correct time? To solve this question, we are going to use the given information in the uh, question that uh, one clock works one hour fast and one clock is an hour slow. So we are going to consider the before and after times of the clocks. So here in option A, 6 is shown on the clock, so before and after time of 6 is 5 and 7. We cannot see any clock that is showing 5 o'clock, so option A is not the correct option. In option B, the time is 2 o'clock, before and after time will be 1 and 3. 3 is shown uh, in option D, but there is no clock that is showing 1 o'clock, so no. Here in option C, the time is 4 o'clock, before and after time is 3 and 5, which is also not right. Here in option D, the time is 3 o'clock, before and after time is 2 and 4, which can be seen in option B and C, because uh, the clock at option B is showing 2 o'clock and the clock at option C is showing 4 o'clock. So it means the correct time is 3 o'clock. Question number 21, Adam and Brenda have 9 marbles each. Together they have 8 red and 10 blue marbles. Brenda has twice as many blue marbles as red marbles. We know that Brenda has 9 marbles. So it is given in the question that she has twice as many blue marbles as red marbles. So we can say that she has 3 red marbles and double of 3 is 6. So out of 10 blue marbles, 6 marbles are with uh, Brenda. 
so if we subtract 6 out of 10 the remaining blue marbles are 4 so they have asked us that how many blue marbles does Adam have so we can say that Adam has 4 blue marbles option B is the correct option here Question number 22, Alice has two machines. When she puts a square sheet of paper in machine R, it turns the paper 90 degrees clockwise as shown in the picture. When she puts the paper in machine S, it stamps the paper with a mark. In which order are the machines used to produce the results shown? So, we so now we can see before entering the paper in the machines the square is at the lower left corner but when it came out of all the machines the paper was at the upper right corner so when we entered the paper in the machine it turned 90 degrees because the square will go in the uh, upper left corner it means we have entered the paper in the machine R after that uh, it was a mark on it it means we have entered the paper in machine s at the end the paper was entered in the machine r here the paper was uh, turned 90 degrees clockwise again because the square is in the upper right corner and the position of the mark is changed now so it means the sequence will be machine r s and r so option b is the correct option here Question number 23, Holger fills the rest of the table with the numbers up to 50 following the system shown. Which piece can he cut from the table? So here if we write 23, 24, 25, so on and continue the pattern, we can find 32, 33 and 43 in the given table. So option C is the correct option. This piece can be cut from the table. Question number 24, teacher Olena wants to write the numbers 1 to 7 in the circles. Inside each circle she writes one number. She wants the sum of the numbers in two circles that are next to each other to be as shown. What number must she write inside the green or shaded circle? If we write 2 in the shaded circle, then we can see there is 9. So 2 plus what is equal to 9? It's 7. 7 plus 1 is equal to 8. 1 plus 8 is equal to 9. It will be wrong because 8 is greater than 7 and it is given in the question that the numbers are from 1 to 7. So net, now let's try 4 in the shaded circle. 4 plus what is equal to 9? It's 5. 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. 3 plus 6 is equal to 9. 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. 1 plus 7 is equal to 8 and 7 plus 2 is equal to 9 and uh, 2 plus 4 is equal to 6 so this is the correct sequence because all the numbers from 1 to 7 are written once in the circles and the sum of the two numbers written in the circles is written in the center of them so that's why we will say that 4 will be written in the shaded circle so option d is the correct option here